You're listening to the One Man Show Network. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast with your host, Aaron Weinbaum. Hey everyone, welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. I am your host, uh, Aaron Weinbaum. Today I am from uh, One Man Show Network Studio South. I'm not at home. I'm at my office in a kind of a setup I had to set up for my father. So I figured why not take advantage of it? Uh, everyone's overrunning my house right now. So uh, I'm going to actually pick some fights for Bellator, which I, I don't usually do. And they haven't had an event in so long. So this is Bellator 243, Benson Henderson versus uh, Michael Chandler, part do. And uh, probably the best card they've had in a while, even pre pandemic i mean four decent fights on the main card i'm gonna go ahead and pick those and if you're on youtube or periscope or wherever please feel free to uh go ahead and help me pick these fights and if you are on youtube please feel free to hit the subscribe button as well uh interactive of course i will try to get all your comments in if this is working correctly, this is a multi-stream here, but uh, if not, it is what it is, and I will be picking the UFC later on this week, probably tomorrow, on a new thing called Get Vocal, but it's supposed to stream to all my places, so we'll see, and I'll get all that information to you uh, tomorrow. So, if there are no comments, I'm going to go ahead and get started. First up, well, let's let's back up a second. So these, these fights are taking place at the Mohegan Sun in... Uh, I believe it's yeah Connecticut, so it's not quite Fight Island. It's more like Fight Reservations, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, first fight of the night at featherweight, Miles Jury versus Georgie Karakani. Um, oh, I take that back. This is actually at lightweight, so probably so these guys didn't have to cut weight. So I, I do need to remember a lot of that's going on, which is cool too. You know, at least these guys were fighting. A Miles Jury, who spent most of his career uh, at lightweight. Just beat Brandon Gertz. Um, gosh, when was this? How long ago was this? So it would have been February this year. Uh, before that, three losses in a row. Ben Henderson, um, Andre Feely, Chad Mendes. So Benson Henderson was returned to lightweight, I guess, after several years at, at, at featherweight. Uh, you know, he's lost to, like, top guys, basically. I mean, before that, look, his other losses were Charles Oliveira, and Donald Cerrone, and you know, that's way back in 2015. So this guy doesn't really lose uh, unless it's like the top, top competition, but neither is Georgie. You know, uh, gosh, he did last win against Paul Redmond. Uh, he lost to A.G. McKee, lost to Emmanuel Sanchez, and this was all at featherweight. He, so, uh, yeah, he didn't make it into the, uh, out of the, rather, the Bellator Grand Prix opening round for the featherweight crown. Um, you know, he's got a lot of weird wins here and there. Did lose to Henry Corrales. You know, I just got to say, by strength of schedule here, um, in, in the guys he's fought, and the fact that Miles Jury, you know, he's he's been to the big show, the pressure and all that kind of stuff. I'd say I like Miles Jury in this fight. He'll probably win her. Curtis Millinder against Sabah Hassami. Sabah Hassami. Um, let's take a look at this. And this place, this is, of course, going to take place at welterweight. His last fight was at a catch weight of 180 pounds. He won against Moses Merayeta. Um, and that was, gosh, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, that was in Bellator. I'm sorry. Before that, two losses in a row. Abelel Muhammad. Lots of guys lose to him. And Elijah. Zaleski De Santos, uh, also an upper comer, but he does got some new, notable wins here. Uh, Sire Bandurza, uh, Baja Duruza, I can't ever say that right. Max Griffin, Tiago Alves. I do remember that fight. I picked Alves to win, of course. Nick Barnes. So, you know, he does have some W's under his belt. It, it is strange that he got released after two uh, losses to top guys in the welterweight division. Let's go Sabah Hamasi. Uh, two wins of his own. Micah Terrell, Muhammad Abdullah. I mean, let's face it. Oh, and he's got a loss to Tim Means way back in 2016 in the UFC. Man, let's face it here. Uh, not really the top competition here. Uh, again, you know, I like this for Curtis Millinder. Uh, strength schedule, fought top guys. 
So yeah, I, I, it was. I'm, I'm sure there's a story on on why he did get cut from the UFC. So if if anyone does know, please feel free to share with me. Um, there as well. All right, next up, co-main event of the evening: Matt Mitrione versus Timothy Johnson. Interesting. Um, let's take a looky looky here. Yeah, so Mitrione, I think he lost. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sergey uh, Karatsinov, that was TKO. Before that, he fought him, but hit him in the nuts. Uh, he hit Sergey in the nuts before the fight, and that ended it early. Um, So that was interesting as well. I lost to Ryan Bader at heavyweight. Man, that was crazy, so... I thought he would have kind of handled Bader and Bader, who was much smaller. I mean, he's not heavyweight. I mean, he's a big guy, but he looked much smaller than the natural heavyweight Matt Mitrione. And just Bader just kept wrapping him up and taking him down and, and uh, doing a little bit of damage. He does have a win over Roy Nelson, Fedor, Aldi Thompson, and uh, yeah, you know, before that, losses to Travis Brown and uh, Ben Rothwell. I think Ben Rothwell caught him in that like inverted moob choke he does, you know. Um, but let's take a look at Timothy Johnson. You know, I always counted this guy out and then all of a sudden wins KO style against Tyrell Fortune. But when he does lose, he gets knocked out. You know, Vitaly, uh, Minakov, Czech Kondo, Junior Albini. Um, I mean, he loses, he gets knocked out a lot. And, you know, I don't know that this will be any different. I think he's a scrappy fella for sure, but Matt Mitrione is more of the, uh, the complete package, if you will. And I like him to win this fight. All right, this one's difficult. Michael Chandler, Benson Henderson. You know, Michael Chandler's been up and down and up and down as of late. Of course, University of Missouri, Columbia graduate. Um, did just beat Sydney Outlaw. Had that loss to uh, Pitbull, Patricio Fieri. Uh, I think they're both named Pitbull, so this is always confusing me. But this was for the lightweight championship, and he lost it. For that, he beats Brett Primus, Brandon Gertz, uh, Gori Yamagachi. He had that weird leg injury against Brett Primus the first time, but he did win a split decision over Benson Henderson. Um, let's take a look at Benson Henderson, though. You know, just kind of one of those deals where like Dana White would have kept him around forever, but I guess he didn't pay him that well because you know he didn't think he was going to be able to compete for a belt ever again. But all of a sudden, he kind of just sneakily has four wins in a row. Miles Jury, Adam Piccolotti, Saad Awad, Roger Huerta. Well, do we count the Roger Huerta fight, really? Roger's 107 years old, and he, stiff win knocks him out. But then he had the losses to uh, Patrick Fieri, Michael Chandler. It has a win over Patricio. Oh, yeah, that leg injury. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Interesting. Interesting. Um, before that, he flirted around with uh, going to welterweight, but not the biggest guy. I mean, he looks big, but when he's against a true welterweight, no. No bueno. So, interesting here. Um, so, if you all like to weigh in, that would be fine, too. I have a bad feeling the comments aren't working. So, we'll get her straightened out before uh, the UFC fight picks later in the week. But... Man, this is tough. I I mean, I think Chandler, you know, Chandler always goes against like the top one or two guy, you know, to say that Miles Jury was a top guy or Adam Piccolotti was a top guy. Sada Wad's been there a while. I like Chandler in the rematch. Um, he eked out a split decision in the first fight. I don't see how he doesn't do it again. So that's it. We picked them. Thank you all so much for listening. I will be back later in the week with UFC picks. Uh, I hope you join me then. Until next time, till tomorrow probably, shalom. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com.